a brief hands-on look at what's new in iOS 12.2 Beta 3. You'll notice a new change when you go into the Settings General About section. And what you will notice is that some of the items have been rearranged, like you have serial number up top, model number up top, and for the first time you actually have model name. So it will tell you the name of the device you're looking at, in this case iPhone XS Max. And in my opinion, it's a welcome change to the general about section of the settings app. What do you guys think? If you've been running the previous iOS 12.2 betas, you may have noticed the little bug which displayed the current charging status instead of the date on the lock screen, that's been fixed. The Apple News app gets a new heading. Instead of it saying Apple News, it now has the Apple logo with the word news instead. And a welcome change to music video playback. Now when you start a music video, it doesn't automatically go into full screen on iOS 12.2 beta 3. It plays within the normal view of the music app and you can make it full screen if you wish. And in the latest beta, you'll notice a new switch for the Apple Store app. Notice what we'll find here when we go into Siri and search. Notice the option for find interest in other apps. This allows Siri to suggest today at Apple sessions based on your Safari usage and app usage. And following the direction of the initial 12.2 beta, you'll notice additional new assets in the wallet app this time around, you have a new button for website and for call directly in the individual card details. And for the Apple Pay cash details, you have add money and transfer to bank. Obviously that core functionality was already there, but you get updated buttons. And lastly, you have an updated remote app in control center for controlling Apple TVs and televisions that support AirPlay 2 functionality. So this redesigned remote looks a lot like the actual physical Apple TV remote in that it is dark black with the gray accents. You have your main menu button in the middle flanked by other buttons like play pause, search, Siri, etc. And of course you can use the menu at the top to switch between controlling different devices. And as was introduced in the previous beta, that same interface will pop up whenever you access the remote control shortcut from the AirPlay 2 control center controls like that. So ladies and gentlemen, what's your favorite new feature in iOS 12.2 beta 3? Sound off down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.